What up, pack? Today is the day we do our Kanye West song bracket, and oh boy, is this one pretty crazy. On my screen, you will see 64 songs, and I know, this looks, you can't even see them. It's so tiny. That's how many songs. 64 of Kanye's most iconic songs, and today we are going to find out what is the best Kanye West song of all time. Now, there are a few hundred people voting, so surely nothing can go wrong <laughs> then no <laughs> So this is going to be the absolute perfect, nothing wrong, the final statement of what is the official best Kanye West song of all time. Grab some water. This one is going to be crazy. I know some people are already going to be mad. I'm sure they're going to be like, I can't believe you don't even have this one specific song on there. Look, bro. First of all, I have nothing to say. All that matters is that you work with what we got. First up, run away and don't like. Wow. Voice crack on the first one. A classic. My goal was to make this, this first round relatively easy. You don't want two Goliath songs to go head to head in the first round, right? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty much going exactly the way I thought. Runaway takes is 69%. Nice. Next up, we got We Major versus Can't Tell Me Nothing. You don't want two Goliath songs to go head to head in the first round, right? Somehow, the production on this song is elegant, but still very aggressive. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven when I... He made graduation. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, is already angry. We already have angry people. Can't tell me nothing takes us 78%. Well, hey, look. I'm disgusted. <laughs> All right, we got new slaves and spaceship. You see, it's broke, nigga, race him. That's that. Don't touch anything in the stove. And it's rich. I'm a big Yeezus fan. If my manager insults me again, I will be assaulting him. I will be assaulting him. <laughs> Kanye, relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. This is close. This could go any way. It's really going to come down to the wire here, man. Make sure every single person votes. Today, I'm democracy. See, new slaves takes it. This was a lot closer than I was expecting based on the reactions. Spaceship is fire. Definitely. Gold digger and street lights. Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Mm -mm -mm. I in the cabin. 808s as a whole, it's just beautiful. But I kind of saw this going, I, I think we all knew it was going this way. Gold Digger takes it 69%, nice. <laughs> Two already. Here we go. We got Touch the Sky and Father Stretch Me. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. It's hard to pause that song early. I mean, yo. This is a really big round here. This is a defining round of which way this stream is going to go. And I'm really interested to see what the pack thinks. Okay. All right. It's not that close. I think we're pretty solidified here. Touch the sky. 60%. Yeah, look, bro. Touch the sky is way better. Look, Father Stretch My Hands is so overrated. The production carried. Kanye's verse is really not that great. Futures, uh, if Young Metro don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. Beat drop carried. Cuddy obviously carried on the hook. Touch the sky is just way better. I'm sorry. Here we go. We got Amazing versus Gone. It's amazing. I'm the reason. Every this production is fucking beautiful the bounce on this so nice already i can see the stream is favoring late registration i will say this if it was up to me amazing was a pivotal song for me personally just remember being super super infatuated with this song i can't really tell you why but gone takes it 67 percent that's why i'm democracy c today you know all right next up we got devil in a new dress versus big brother we love jesus but you done learned a lot from satan <laughs> Such a great song on an album that is undeniably a six out of ten. Yeah, that's a weird yell out, yell out. You know the name, do I gotta spell? All right, y'all. Yeah, I mean, we all kind of knew this was gonna happen. Devil in a New Dress 
is definitely the better song here. 84%. We got Hurricane vs. St. Pablo. Nah, stop with that 28 hur 2018 hurricane. That's the demo itis creeping in, bro. This shit is fire, bro. Stop. People trying to say I'm going crazy on Twitter. My friend's best shit. Bro, this is such a crazy song to end the al album with. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. Hurricane is a great song for sure. St. Pablo takes it 75%. Okay, here we go. We got Paris and Moon. I mean, can you even say anything that would add to the value that the song provides? A lot of Donda's value comes... A lot. A lot of Donda's value. Wow. This is actually getting closer. <laughs> um, Donda 2 when? Who knows? Probably never. Paris takes it 57%. That was a close one. Oh my gosh, I thought it would be a much more of a blowout. I think Paris is the rightful winner, but Moon is a great song. It is truly a great song. All right, Flashing Lights versus Fourth Dimension. For most of these, I just don't have much to say. Like, might need an intervention for this new dimension. That's too new dimension. Is it gonna give flashing lights a run for its money? Fourth dimension, bro. Uh, no, it's not. I mean, yeah, flashing lights is definitely, definitely undeniable. Flashing lights takes it 74%. Um, next we got no more parties in LA and mercy. And my sheet's still orange from your spray tan. It was more than soft porn for the game, man. Yo, chick, she's so thirsty. I'm in that too. I think when this song came out, I probably listened to it 150 times. What a time. Are we going to get another 69%? Yeah, I didn't really think Mercy had a chance. And No More Parties in LA takes a 67%. So far, so good. I think there's nothing really all that controversial about this list. Next, we got Famous and Lost in the World. I just wanted you to know. <laughs> You want to talk about one of Swizz's best beats? This. I'm lost in the world. It seems like it's just like nobody's even trying to be this ambitious. Um, wow. Wow, famous. Some people are going to be mad about this one. Famous takes it 59%. Listen, I love me some famous. Lost in the World is a beautiful song. Here we go. We got Heard Him Say and We Don't Care. And I heard him say, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. It just doesn't end. The greatness just doesn't end. Mmm. It only feels right to put College Dropout up against late registration, you know? And evidently, we got one of the closer rounds because of it. Heard him say takes it 60%. And I think, personally, that was the right decision. Here we go. We got Good Morning and Welcome to Heartbreak. Good morning. Good morning. I know, amazing singing abilities. What are we thinking? It's about what we expected. This is kind of what I wanted and expected in the first round. I designed these to be relatively non-controversial because I know that it would be too chaotic and unfair to put top eight, top 10, top 16 up against each other. That's called foreshadowing. Good morning takes us 74%. Yeah, I'm really excited for this next round though. Two dancey songs. We got Fade and Believe What I Say. Roll up, roll up, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Don't let, don't let the lifestyle drag you down. Both of these songs I absolutely love so much. I love when Kanye does four on the floor house music type shit. I think Believe What I Say had the ability to be like one of his best or most popular, I would say, most popular songs uh in his catalog i really love that song evidently you guys too 72 percent believe what i say is my favorite song on that project i think okay we got free and stronger i feel free does anybody make real shit anymore are we gonna get the biggest blowout so far yeah wow are we gonna get a 90 though? One is more popular, that's for sure. Don't kill me either, but I don't really care for Stronger that much. Stronger takes it 
Heading over to the other side now. Next up, we got Through the Wire and I Wonder. Ooh. I have an unbelievable opportunity for all of the artists or poets that are watching right now. You can now use AI to help you write your songs or poems. Beatopia just launched Deep Flow, which is their lyrics co-writer powered by AI that is going to make your songwriting process faster and more organized. Let me show you how this works. So let's pick our genre first which is going to be rap. Now let's say you have absolutely no idea where you want to start. Just pick a very general topic on what you want to make a song about. Add topic, money. Then you hit new suggestions and you will get your lyrics. Money can't buy happiness, but it helps. I like it. Click new suggestions, you'll get your second line. Let's say you don't like any of these and you want them to rhyme a little bit better. Check the rhyme toggle, new suggestions again. Put it to work and watch it multiply itself. Damn, that's bars, yo. Now this is okay, but I think the best way to use this tool is to already have a direction or already have some lines written or even parts of lines written so that you can really use the AI to the best it can be. To prove my point, I'm gonna use my song with Quay the Artist called Eyes On Me. I got eyes up on me, they been peeping and lurking. No handouts, I just had to put the work so I use the original first line. Let's see what the AI comes up with for the second line. I push past the hate, keep grinding and working. Instead of I push past, let's put, don't focus on the hate, keep grinding and working. But you can also do just part of a line. On my own wave, new suggestions. Ain't no one gonna stop me from surfing. Honestly, it's pretty good and it compares to Quay, who's an amazing songwriter. Last step, name your song. If you click the back button to all lyrics, you'll have an archive of all of the songs that you've worked on that auto saves every single time you make a change. Although the suggestions may not be perfect, the words, phrases, or maybe even parts of the lines that the AI recommends will at least make your workflow a lot faster. Because we all know when writing a song, sometimes you just need that one word, that one word that's like, oh, I got it. And just for you guys, Beatopia is offering a 33% discount with the code GOPATRICKCC to the first 500 people that use it. So go ahead and check out Deep Flow using the link in my description, or you can go over to Beatopia.com and navigate to the AI Lyrics tab. Thanks, Beatopia. I drink a moose for breakfast, an intro for dessert, somebody... Okay, through the wire, verse. I've been waiting all this... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I put this match up first round. Look, for the most part, so far, I had a relatively non-controversial first round, but at some point, he just has so many bangers, eventually, eventually you had to put two up against each other. What is the outcome going to be whoa this one is this is not as close as i thought either and i wonder takes it 59 percent i ain't gonna lie bro i think through the wires final four his jaw was wired shut for god's sake repoll no it can't no we can't do a repoll wow i ain't gonna lie this was kind of a this shouldn't have been a, this these shouldn't have been <laughs> Shouldn't have been first round. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is definitely a mistake on my part. To you guys, to the pack, this was definitely a disrespectful first round, and I apologize that I put it first round. Through the wire, we all know is top four Kanye, though. The only thing that'll justify it is if <laughs> I wonder wins. All right, here we go. Ultralight Beam versus Reborn. I'm trying to keep my faith. We on a ultralight beam. We on a ultra Beautiful song. I'm so, I'm so reborn. I'm both beautiful songs for sure. Absolute beautiful music gets made. This one is close. This one is really close. I mean, you could tell I purposely put these two um, songs up against each other because of uh, very similar, just a similar feeling I feel like it evokes. Ooh, Ultralight Beam takes it by four votes. I'll say this. Reborn feels like a stronger Cuddy song than a Kanye song, but I personally like Reborn more. All of the lights and pair Paranoid. Just makes you feel amazing, doesn't it? The worst My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy beats top tier 808s. Bro, L take! Shut up! All of the lights takes it. I'm not that surprised. Paranoid is banger. You want to find out the divide of a fucking... Kanye fan, start talking about dark fantasy. Monster and black skinhead. Wow. First blowout. We love it.
We love it. We love to see Yeezus get the love it deserves. Black Skinhead is going to take it 87%. The better song for sure. Diamonds from Sierra Leone Remix versus Otis. Morning, this ain't Vietnam still. People lose hands, legs, arms for real. Oh my gosh, what a crazy matchup here. This one is insane. I'm not surprised that some of y'all can't choose and oh boy, is this close. The production on both of these songs is so amazing, man. The energy on Otis is just unbelievable. Diamonds just makes you ascend. But it looks like Diamonds takes it 55%. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. I think that's the right choice. Diamonds was the winner for sure uh personally but i like how close it was i like the respect all right here we go we got off the grid versus everything i am banger here we go again people talking shit Ooh, okay two vastly different songs yeah um it was close for a second but here it is slipping away i just think donda had a tough time like really punching through the catalog everything i am takes a 63 percent I think that is the clear winner there. We got Hold My Liquor and Good Life. Bitch, I'm back out my coma. Waking up on your sofa. If Kanye executive produced a Chief Keef album, it would have been a classic. I don't think there are enough words to put what this song makes me feel. How does this poll hurt you? Hold My Liquor is great. But let's, let's really s fucking think about it for a second. Good Life Takes is 72%, and that was definitely the right song. Blood on the Leaves and Real Friends. I had a cousin that stole my lips. This side of the bracket's crazy. So let's get on with it. We could have been somebody. Damn, I forgot to call him. Shit, I thought it was Thursday. Why you wait a week? You could really just only listen to Kanye. Oh man, this one is really close. This whole second half of the bracket has been crazy. You know, I don't feel as bad about I Wonder versus Through the Wire now. I know the fucking YouTube comments are gonna kill me. Blood on the Leaves takes it 58 percent don't be surprised if the top comment on the youtube videos bro i lost all respect for you when you put i wonder against fucking through the wire you really fucking sold the whole bracket it wasn't even worth watching after that i'm gonna scream if that's the fucking top comment jesus walks verse hey mama young and restless restless might snatch your necklace boom 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 Boom, boom, boom. Take y'all back to them better times. I'm finna talk about my mama if y'all don't mind. This matchup is fucked up. Oh, wow. Jesus Walks takes a 61%. Left side of the bracket was too easy, so Pat decided to emotionally torture us on the right side. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bit of that. The left side, I was like, okay, matchup. Like, looking at it, I'm like, okay, this will probably win. This will probably win. This will probably win. And I did it, right? I did the whole left side, and then the right side, I'm like, fuck. I have so many bangers I have to put on here. <laughs> All right, we got all four falls down and follow god sophomore three years ain't picked the career she like fuck it i'll just stay now wasn't this the song where in the in the netflix documentary where he's literally playing it for the a and r and the a and r just will not even like acknowledge him like i know we have the benefit of hindsight but i just feel like anyone in their right mind would hear at least this sample and be like Bro, this is crazy. This A&R would not even look at him. She was just like doing some other shit. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when's the new Mace album coming out? What the fuck? Life like, this is what your life like. Try to live your life right. People really know. Follow God is a banger. It's a little, uh, it's a little short. I think we all knew where this was going. I mean, I think you could probably even end this poll early. I'm surprised Follow God got that many votes. So that's dope. But All Falls Down takes a 76%. We knew this. Wow, how about that lineup? All right, we got Dark Fantasy and Homecoming. Boom! Y'all are mad at me. I told you once I got to the right side of the bracket, I just had way too many bangers to pick from. And I'm still, we're still going to get to the end and somebody's going to be like, what the fuck? You still forgot this song. I know it was hard. I fantasize about this back in Chicago. Mercy, mercy me, that mercy. Ooh. <laughs> you have to choose. I met this girl when I was three years old. And what I love. Rare Pat L. Well, thank you for the rare. Pat is actually the devil. <laughs> I think y'all have figured out where me and where me and fantano agree homecoming takes us 72 percent 
Dark Twisted Fantasy aged the worst of all yay albums. Now you talking that shit! <laughs> All day in violent crimes. Bro was going crazy on that. Don't you go up in a hurry. Your mama be worried all. The matchups got a little bit weirder towards the end. If you can imagine, I did the bracket from top left down and then top right down. So it just kind of got a little weird at the end. Kind of a weird matchup, but it is what it is. Violent crimes takes it. I like cold over all day, but I put all day in for woe. So, shout out to Woe. Next time, do the brackets random, bro. No, random is way too risky. Heartless and family business. How could you be so cold as the winner win when it breeze, yo? To a woman so heartless. This is family business, and this is for the family that can't be with us. Absolute beautiful record here. Oh man, what's it gonna be? Wow, this is very, very, very close. Oh my gosh. This one is coming down to the wire. The winner is Heartless takes it 58%. Okay, here we go. Moving forward, we got Power and Ghost Town. No one man to have all that power. Fast food commercial type beat. I've been trying. Whoa. This one is close. This second half of the bracket has been absolutely bananas. And the winner is Power by four votes. Oh my gosh. YouTube gonna kill me? Why? I didn't fucking vote. Who gives a shit? That's on y'all. Y'all were the ones who were voting. All right, we got Love Lockdown and No Church. So keep your love locked down. Your love locked down. One thing you'll also learn is that I love 808s and Heartbreaks. What's a guy to not believe Although I'm not surprised that this poll is going this way. Um, Love Lockdown is great. Love Lockdown is getting my vote. I like 808s, but I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. Last round, we got Gotta Have It and Bound 2. Hello, 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 white America, assassinate my character. It's all good. All the mother niggas lame and you know it now. When the uh, yeah, I think we know where this is going. I'm gonna go get some water. Bound 2 takes it 91%. Oh my gosh, our first 90. Um, who'd have thunk it? Actually, we, we knew. That is all of the first round. So now we are going to go through all of the songs that we have already heard. Here we go. Runaway, can't tell me nothing. Yeah, you could run these polls a lot faster. You know, I don't even think we really need to uh, listen to the whole songs. Wow, look at this. Look at this. This one is close. What is it gonna be? Wait till I get my money right. That's because none of y'all ain't got your money right. Runaway takes it 59%. There is... The reason why I put it in the very first seed, personally, can't tell me nothing, would have been my vote. New Slaves and Gold Digger. We want prenup, we want prenup, yeah. Okay, not surprised where this is going at all. Let's be real, if you're voting New Slaves, you're just trying to be different. Let's be real, I unironically, genuinely, and picking new slaves over this. New slaves, much better for me. Gold Digger takes it 63%. If it was up to me, I'm just realizing how much I would be absolutely destroyed because neither of these would have won. <laughs> neither of these would have won. Touch the sky and gone. Okay, let's see. What is the pack thinking? Whoa, not even close, huh? Not even a maybe. Touch the sky takes it 89% and uh, yeah. I mean, Devil in a New Dress and St. Pablo. This one should be interesting. Yeah, Devil in a New Dress. Looks like it's gonna do good. I mean, in a Kanye bracket, you're praising somebody else's verse and why somebody else's verse is so great. It's kind of silly, but that's just me. I'm just a guy. Devil in a New Dress takes his 65%. Paris and Flashing Lights. Ooh, Flashing Lights is top four material. Whoa, we'll see about that, I guess. Wow, this isn't even close. Okay, you could just end the poll. Damn, I thought this would be much closer. I mean, I'm not really that mad at it. I get it. Flashing lights takes it 90%. Wow. Y'all too young. Flashing lights is older. <laughs> That's so funny. No more parties and famous. Okay. Didn't really intend on two T-Lop songs going head to head, but listen, one of them's got to go. What's it gonna be? 
Oh, not that close. Famous is great. One of my favorites. He's a little mean on the song. He's a little mean. No more parties in LA is going to take it 64% objectively the better song, but Famous is more fun to listen to. Heard him say and good morning. Whoa. Heard him say that piano makes me fully torqued. I pretty much knew this was going this way. You could probably cut the pole early. See, this is the funny thing about these brackets is it doesn't really matter how you set it up because there's certain songs that you just know are going to go all the way through anyway, no matter what. Good Morning takes a 77%. People say, oh bro, you forgot this song. You forgot that song. You forgot this song. But we all know what's really going to be in the top 16 anyway. All right, we got Believe What I Say and Stronger. Bro said bowling music. Oh my gosh, I couldn't agree with you more. I'm not going to lie. Stronger isn't even going past first round for me, bro. This shit is fucking overrated by suburban moms and your 13-year-old self. Literally just go listen to Daft Punk. If we're talking about his whole discography, bro, I mean, come on. It is not even top five on graduation. Stronger takes his 61%. Believe What I Say deserved better. But I'm glad Believe What I Say at least got past the first round so that's cool stronger is till i collapse for kids who think they have elite music taste <laughs> what here we go we got i wonder and ultralight beam i met kanye west i'm never going to fail but you did you did fail what happened yeah not all that surprised ultralight beam beautiful song chances verse is definitely great but again it's kind of the same thing here like if we're talking about another artist that isn't Kanye and how great their part is, that's probably not gonna help the Kanye bracket, right? I Wonder takes it 72%. I think that is right. All of the lights and black skinhead. Is this gonna be our first super close matchup in the second round? I feel like a lot of them have been kind of blowouts. This one is the first one that's pretty close. Everyone needs to vote here. I see you not voting. I'm fucking looking at you. All right, vote. Black Skinhead takes it 55%. That is the one we are going to agree on, my friends. What we are learning here is dark fantasy. Inferior to the rest of his stuff. I'm not gonna say that it's mid. I'm not gonna say it's bad, because that's stupid. That's silly. That's nonsense. But the to compare to the rest of the greatness that he has made? Stop looking at me, swan. Jesus is by far his worst. L. Diamonds everything I am. Oh man. Oh man. Interesting. I thought this one would be a lot closer. I figured I should just say this. Diamonds from Sierra Leone Remix is top four for me. It's going top four for me. So, but you know, everything I am is, is good. I'm not mad at it. Everything I am takes it 59%. Okay. All right. We got good life and blood on the leaves. No, it's a really unpopular opinion. I really like I'm in it. That's why I'm in it and I can't get out. <laughs> That shit's fucking hard. <laughs> wow. Good life is not gonna... Oh my gosh. Blood on the leaves takes it 56%. All right. All right. We'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. We're in the sweet 16, baby. Sweet 16, baby. Oh, wait. Where's bound to? Oh, yeah. Wait. Where is bound to? Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, wait. What the fuck? We missed... I wasn't even close. There's so many more. <laughs> There's literally so many more. I literally skipped a quarter of the bracket. That's how long it's been. Jeez, it's already been almost three hours. What the fuck? Whoa, you still want to edit this? Yeah, just pay me the big bucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know about big bucks. You'll get whatever the fuck I want to give you, all right? All right, here we go. Jesus walks verse all falls down. Yep, you could end this poll early because we all knew this was going to happen. There was no situation where all falls down wasn't going to win this. All falls down takes it 76%. Sorry, Jesus walks. Good song, but not better. Homecoming and violent crimes. A lot of support for violent crimes in the comments, but are the votes going to stack up i don't really think so man i think the homecoming is the pretty clear winner here if we're being honest homecoming takes it 65 percent heartless and power hey, what's it gonna be oh man okay this is a little bit closer the comments were having me misleading thought it was gonna be a blowout but every single person needs to vote even the lurkers even the ones that are just quietly sitting there you're not really sure oh i don't know i can't pick pick oh my gosh it's getting closer what's it gonna be and the winner is power takes it 52 percent heartless had my vote but at least it went down fighting no church in the wild and bound to bound to has no business being on jesus yeah that's facts it's like really oddly placed but absolutely crazy wow not even close you just end the poll early
in the poll early. Bound 2 takes it 71%. Yeah. Now we have the Sweet 16 officially. We have a lot of graduation. Six graduation songs we have one from late registration and it's gold digger yeah that's crazy i'm not gonna lie that's crazy it's my fault that is not my fault heard him say should at least heard him say should have won heard him say should have got through we got runaway and gold digger oh we have touch the sky wait did i put the wrong color palette for touch the sky i had the wrong color palette for touch the sky okay so we do have we do have two wait what the fuck did that end early oh it was 86 percent. oh my gosh sorry i missed the poll runaway takes it 86 percent. youtube we promise we we ran it even i admit that runaway is better touch the sky and devil in a new dress very very interesting here devil in the new dress you know mostly known for rick ross's feature but then again touch the sky with the lupe feature i'd be a hypocrite by not saying that pat is the worst host fuck that let's make a poll who should host the show pat or murder beats <laughs> <laughs> um dang looks like touch the sky is gonna take it and touch the sky takes his 64 percent flashing lights are no more parties in la no more parties definitely more notable for kanye absolutely wrapping his tail off flashing lights though one of the most unique um hits not unique in the sense related to um graduation i feel like it definitely embodies a lot of what graduation feels like i feel that we don't get a lot of singles that represent a project really well anymore and i'm not all that surprised where this is going but yeah flashing lights takes it 74 percent pretty much expecting that two graduation songs here we have good morning and stronger stronger a little bit more on the commercial side whereas good morning is a little bit more on the album cut side but lovers of the project know that both of these really fit the project well good morning takes a 75 percent i also do believe that good morning is the better track here we have i wonder versus black skinhead hmm. there's a lot of graduation here but black skinhead just has that fucking energy that punch you in the face fucking energy damn how about that yeah this one can probably get cut early too i wonder takes it 78 percent. it's funny how it's competitive and then it's like super not competitive and then at the end it's gonna get really competitive again and i think that no matter how much me and whoa love yeezus i think no matter how much it wouldn't go that far in the votes anyway because ultimately once it would go up against a graduation song the graduation song would win so it's cool that it made it this far oh my gosh another graduation verse everything i am is it's a beautiful song blood on leaves is fucking crazy this is pretty insane should be close oh all right this one is a little bit closer this is basically the same matchup as before if we really think about it i mean any graduation song against any yeezus song is going to be the same dichotomy you have you know happy positive feel good versus fucking spit in your mouth and you know go crazy that's what makes it very interesting i feel like blood on leaves takes it 59 percent. i like that here we go all falls down versus homecoming oh <laughs> this one is crazy all falls down is a hungrier kanye you know he's rapping his fucking ass off and great sample this one is crazy but Ho homecoming is a beautiful beautiful track beautiful track oh my gosh i mean you can't even say enough positive things this is uh this could have been closer to a finals type matchup here this is really really close oh my gosh yeah all falls down takes it 53 percent whoa whoa you know what i like i like that i mean i do love homecoming but listen bro through the wire should have beat i wonder so all falls down beating homecoming it's only right it only evens the it just evens the universe okay it evens it out power versus bound two who are you aha uh -huh, honey or are you hey both have some interesting energy i mean bound two is just a roller coaster of different energies this is very 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 interesting 61 percent for bound two bro bound two is a beautiful song 
It's an amazing song. We have our Elite Eight here. We have Runaway, Touch the Sky, Flashing Lights, Good Morning, Bound 2, All Falls Down, Blood on the Leaves, and I Wonder. What do you think should win? We got Runaway and Touch the Sky. Bro, if y'all are gonna call a song the best song, you better appreciate every fucking second of that song. You want a nine minute song to win? You want a nine minute song, you gon' get, whoa. Damn, this one's gonna get close though. This one is gonna get close. I think all of these are gonna be pretty close because you know, we have bangers, nothing but bangers here. Oh man, this is really close now. Oh my gosh, it is dead even, dead even. There's only one solution to this, okay? If there's a if there's another matchup that's a blowout, we'll make a shift, right? So if there's one that's a blowout, then it's like, okay, we gotta put Touch the Sky or Run Away up against said song. It's the only way to make it make sense. Because clearly these are two top contenders that shouldn't be against each other. If it's willing to go 50-50, then that means that, yeah. Bro, what? You want me to flip a coin? Chaos begins. <laughs> All right, fine. Run the poll again. You guys wanted this. See, I think we should put them up against different songs, but... Whatever. Clearly, if they're both this good, they should clearly both advance. So that means they should go up against other songs. Y'all are gonna be mad. Touch the Sky takes it by two votes. Now Runaway fans are mad. You should have just did. You should have just. I'm fucking so fucking glad Runaway didn't go. I was gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. But now y'all wanted the repoll. Flashing lights against Good Morning. Ooh wee ooh wee ooh ooh. ooh. Damn, very, very interesting here. Flashing Lights is a great song. Good Morning is a great song. The pack, our graduation stands. Flashing Lights takes it 71%. We got I Wonder versus Blood on the Leaves. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. How about that? Well, it would have been the same if uh, pretty much any Yeezus song went up against I Wonder. So I Wonder takes it 76%. I don't think we're really mad at that. Blood on the Leaves, super fire but I wonder, yeah. All falls down and bound to. Oh, I'm not mad that it's leaving, but you know what? It made a damn good run. A lot of people like to hate on bound because of it's popular, but bound to is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. All falls down takes it 62%. Here we go. Our final four is all falls down, flashing lights, I wonder, and touch the sky. How about this? These are all four classic Kanye songs. I don't think that, I don't think that this is the most uh, agreeable top four for a lot of you, but I'm not mad. I'm really not. Maybe there were some hiccups, but along the way, we, we made it around. We made it around here. It could be way worse. Like, it could have been stronger. It could have been run, run away. <laughs> Touch the sky versus flashing lights. Oh, 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 oh. This is incredibly difficult. I love both of these songs, but evidently not so difficult for the pack, huh? You would hope that the finals would get down to close, close matchup. Flashing Lights takes a 61%. We now have I Wonder versus All Falls Down. What is it gonna be? Run that poll. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I wanted. I wanted something a little closer, a little closer to get into the finals. Let's have it. Everyone vote, everyone vote, everyone vote. To go to the finals, it is. All falls down, takes it by three votes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? That means the finals. We have flashing lights versus all falls down. And you know what? Listen, music is so subjective. There's so much bias and that's fine. That's It's supposed to be bias. Like it's fucking music, right? I was expecting so much worse. I was expecting like, remember our Drake bracket? Our Drake bracket, we got to the end and we were like, this is not even close. <laughs> like, like I didn't even post it. I didn't even post the video. That's how bad it was. Like, we were just like, oh yeah, we just fucking missed the mark. But this one, it feels, it feels like people can make some concessions. We have really strong Kanye here. Great production. They're two kind of, they're not opposite vibes. Flashing lights, we have, Little more of that four on the floor, little more dancey, a little more club, and All Falls Down has that classic Kanye sampling combined with just insane rapping. All right, baby, run that poll. Already looking close here. For the best Kanye West song, we have a photo finish. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 
a photo finish is exactly what we are going to get. Every single person that's watching here needs to vote right now. Every single person. And the winner is Flashing Lights takes it by six votes. Oh my gosh, bro. A photo finish. Flashing Lights takes it. You guys have determined that Flashing Lights is in fact Kanye's best song. Generic chat. Listen, it's an amazing song. And there's a reason why it's 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 one of his top streamed songs. Because it's so damn good. People want to know what mine would be? I know for a fact that Heartless would be in it. I love Heartless. Heartless is a top four Kanye song for me. Diamonds from Sierra Leone Remix is definitely my top four. All Falls Down could be. Through the Wire could be. I'll just say Heartless, bro. Heartless is my favorite. I'll just say it. It's easy. I know it's very agreeable, but it's not much of a hot take. But it's just so damn good, man. I just love that song. I don't know, man. I'm pretty happy with the way it went.